Yeah, you have it. Hello. Um, I'm just going to give a quick report on our missionary, Chris Syria. Um, he is uh, holding a vacation Bible school for around 50 orphans, and he is very excited about that. Um, he asked that we offer, you know, keep him in prayer. He's got to provide a meal lunch for all of them for two days. And he is also holding a, uh, I don't remember what he called it, but a, a kind of a revival or ministry with a pastor's conference. There we go. Um, for 50 to 100 different ministers. And uh, they will be doing that. And he is looking forward to that. Him and his brother are putting that on. So um, he is asking for our not only our prayers, but financial support as well to put all of that together. Um, he is doing just wonderfully over there, um, getting to talk to him. I'll try to put some pictures together that he has sent and get them on the board maybe by next week. Great, great. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
beautiful is that? My goodness. Well, thank God for Jesus. <laughs> Woo, glory. If you'll hand me my water, Jackie, that'd be great. Well, thank God for Jesus. So, Tom by Shara, Varada be ye te kush, Shara of Leda Basandra of Bacopa Prakayata. Mindain, the Rada Veda Bokush, Shah, Mabrin, the Rada Vedeshike, Melidian, the Rada Veda Basandra of Bacopa Pranga, the Rada Veda Beheti Seya. Neander of Leda Macomba Brandi, Shikar of Bokushte, Bacar of the Bindo Shur, for the Mian Sestar, for the Mianda of Wuja, Ring and the Macamba Branda of Beisha, or the Hosa Style, Tonada Bahia. Leisha of the Blade of Sasa Kappa Bahia, Corobocon Rasi. Me Yingle and Minga, Sugonobocor of Yende, Sora, Rogba Branda of the Bocupa Branda of the Bocupa Brandis Estea. Lehista ha. Re yo kishkari ha kerabeya. Mienda bon sonda sando sando sikapabakeya. Mela hai. Lehista ha. O shikaravakopa brente shea. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I am the great shepherd. I lead my sheep, but I also lead the flock. I am the great shepherd, saith the Lord. I individually carry you and hold you, and yet I can lead all to the water of life. I am who I say I am, saith God. You look and you see the little things of your life and you say, but Lord, but Lord, where do I go from here? Lord, what do I do at this moment in time? Lord, where would you have me be? What would you have me to do? But I say to you, I am leading you to the still waters where you can drink and drink and drink. I am leading you to the greener pastures, saith the Lord. Be patient. Look not to around you to see what other sheep are doing or not doing. But I say to you, I am the good shepherd. And I lead not only you, but I have already got a flock in place for you, says God. Trust me, lean on me, do not be afraid, do not be afraid, do not be afraid. The cliffs is high and the cliff looks dangerous and the cliff looks like not a place you want to be. But I say to you, I am the good shepherd and I have you in my hand, says God. I have you. Get peace today. Be at peace, for I am not done. I am not done. But you will produce, says God. You will produce. And you will be great, and you will be mighty in the kingdom of God. Do not hesitate. When I say go, you go. But when I say stay, be still. And when I say forgive, you must forgive quickly. For there are many mighty things that I need you to move into, says God. And forgiveness is the first step. Kindness is the second step. And walking by the Spirit will remain for the rest of your life, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let's praise him just for a moment. Glory. Let's praise him just for a moment. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your promises that are yes and amen. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Thank you, Lord. And uh, Tyler, I just I have a word for you, sir. That the Lord said to tell you that even when you were way out, uh, and, and I'm hearing this, doing your own thing, when you were way out doing your own thing, that God had hidden, hidden this family that he has placed into your hands. He had it all hidden. It was already, already waiting in your future. And here you possess it now. You, you hold now what God had, had for you, waiting for you. Even your wife, your, your children, he had it waiting for you. And he says to tell you that in that same way, he has great things for you, waiting for you, and it's in your future, and it's waiting for you, and he said, don't get discouraged along the way, but don't don't allow the enemy to come and, and give you a different song to hear, and a different song to sing, but he said, for you to keep the song in your heart of praise and worship for where he brought you out of Egypt bondage, and he brought you here into this promised land but he has many territories for you to conquer and for you to possess says the Lord he said be of good courage for I am the God that healeth thee and delivereth thee says the Lord Woo, glory glory <laughs> Le o shala vlada bi vishtore bavarakaya. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your promises that are yes and amen. Thank you, Father. We just we, we worship you today. We worship you, Lord, in spirit and in truth. We worship you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, little mo shala vamba brende leveke shicha little bohoya. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Well, thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. I said, thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, the Lord's healing uh, blind eyes right now. I don't know if it's um, uh, who or where, but I'm telling you, God is healing eyes right now. There's healing, and it's, there's a, a something to do with the retina and behind the eyes, but God is healing eyes right now. Just uh, be receiving that. Just receive, just, uh, you know, just, uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it's not over. The Lord said to tell you, it's not over. It's not over. The, uh, Satan will come and say to you, it's over. It's over. Just give up on that. But the Lord said, don't ever give up because it's not over. It's not over. Ha, ha, ha. Woo, glory. It's not over. Say that out loud. It's not over. It's not over. Let's do that again. It's not over. It's not over. Woo, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> How sweet it is to trust in Jesus. And take him at his word. 
How sweet it is to trust in Jesus. I said how sweet it is to trust in Jesus and take him at his word. <laughs> Woo! Hey, say this out loud. I'm on the brink of my miracle. I said, I'm on the brink of my miracle. I'm on the brink of my miracle. Woo! Glory. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I'm going into the promised land, healed, sealed, and filled. How about that? Heading into the promised land. Going in for where, where the milk and honey flows. <laughs> Woo, glory. Yes. You got to know that how, how hard that the enemy fights and, and wants to come against us in our government, in our daily life. You got to know that there's a power far above the power of Satan. There is a power that is excelled above because Jesus didn't get booted out of heaven. Satan got booted out of heaven. And even as the, as the enemy comes against you, better know that God his all power in heaven and in earth he's all power he's all power Woo! hallelujah glory hallelujah Woo! glory hallelujah I'm telling you, he's raising up an army. He's raising up an army. And we won't back up, back down. We won't quit. We won't stop. We're on our, we're on our way to the promised land. <laughs> Woo! Glory. Hey, hallelujah. I'm talking about, I'm talking about raising up the remnant. And you know what? The remnant is the best pieces put together. The best pieces put together, sewn together. The best pieces. He's got a remnant in Africa right now that will not bow or bend. He's got a remnant in China that says no matter what, I'll not bend and I'll not bow. He's got a remnant in the United States of America. And we will not bend. We will not bow. Woo! Every country in the continent, on every country over this whole world, there is a remnant that is willing to pay the price. That's willing to lay down their lives. That's willing to step out into the deep waters hallelujah hallelujah I'm, I'm talking about the timing of God Satan thinks he's got it but God's timing he's right on time did you know he's right on time for your needs for your desires for what you have in store that's laid up in front of you he's an on time God hallelujah and you know I just got a word Charlie I've got a word for you the Lord said you've been faithful you are a fa you're faithful he said you've been faithful in your givings and you've been faithful in your lovings in loving and caring but he's got a plan and a purpose for you but I'm telling you today you've not seen a blessing that you're about to see and it's not going to be from an individual it's going to be from God Almighty because you're his son he's proud of you of who you are don't you let the devil tell you anymore you're not enough for God because you're more than enough but Called Jesus made you more than enough. Hey, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to your name, Jesus! Jesus, say Jesus! Woo, Jesus! 
Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is my answer. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> Woo, glory, glory, hallelujah. Nobody can do you like Jesus. <laughs> Woo, glory, hallelujah. He paid. And as my signs pass through, know that I am doing a new thing. Yes. That I am establishing a new ground. That crossover has already happened. That we have moved over. But now it's time to take position. Now it's time not to rest, not to kick back, but to move forward in yes. all my power. Not yours, Thank but you in Lord. your willingness, Thank in your you, obedience. Jesus. I will do great and mighty things through you. That there will be many that come in through the hands that are here today that I will deliver many of my children, set them captive free in the, my name. I will choose and I will use if you are willing to follow me. Do not delay. Do not wait. When I move on you, move quickly. Yes. For there are many lives that are trying, that the enemy is trying to take to hell. But I am using this house. I am using this house as a center point to use in great ways. So do not think you're you're lowly. Do not think that you have lack, but I have assigned and given and uh, angels to provide provisions and everything you need will be handed at the time you need it. Do not figure. Do not reason. Do not ration. He says, but use my spirit and allow him to use you and I will do great and mighty things. Things that you have prayed about seeing, I'm going to use you. But he says, oh, but and in Luke he says that I'm going to send you out. And even the most high people wish they're going to see what you're going to see. What I'm going to show you, what your eyes are going to see, I, you will not believe if I had told you. So says the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lavrendo, Rabagabashi, Toro, Brinder, Blade, Bacayata. Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, sweet Jesus. My sweet Jesus. Oh, my sweet Jesus. There is none like you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, for the basking in you. Thank you for our covering, Lord. You are our protector, our keeper. You are. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Jesus. He is Lord. He's risen. He has risen. Go and tell. He has risen. The Christ, the slain lamb, has risen. He's risen in authority. His seating changed. He immediately was seated at the right hand of God. The right hand is the action of God. He has risen. When the enemy comes, in your everyday life, your answer needs to be, He is risen. He is the final authority. He is, not you, He is. Yes, oh, thank you. Oh, glory, thank you, my God. <laughs> Woo. Isn't it wonderful to be in the presence of the Lord today? Isn't it wonderful to be in the presence of the Lord? 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, I'm going to try to get some word out, but my goodness. All right, swords in the air. This is my Bible. It's God's holy word. I am who it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I will be taught the word of the living God. Faith will come because faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God, my mind will be transformed. My spirit will be renewed. I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What does it say on the screen? Ready, willing, and able. Woo, that sounds pretty good. That sounds like what the Lord's been saying to us this morning. Amen. Amen. So, um, on, uh, uh, let's see, did we say, yeah, we said that on live stream about Brother Billy, right? Yeah, yes, okay. So our first scripture is going to be in Daniel, Daniel chapter 3, Daniel chapter 3. <clears throat> and we're going to get a feel, we're going to kind of skip around there. So our first verses is going to be 16 through 18. And... Uh, it says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king. Now, you all know the story of how that they were supposed to bow to the king and that uh, they were given an opportunity again to bow and they still would not bow. And then they were given an opportunity and they still wouldn't bow. And so now uh, they, are to, they are answering to the king. O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. In other words, they weren't nervous about what they were about to say. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able. Say he's able. He's able. Our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not... Be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. And if you think about <clears throat> that in that day, there were thousands and thousands of people bowed, bend over, bowing to that golden image that King Nebuchadnezzar had. And here we've got three men standing. That's very obvious that they are not going along with what the government had just said. Is it obvious? Yes. It's very obvious that they said, God will one way or the other. In other words, what they meant was that we will die in that furnace before we bow to an, a, that image of God. And, and guess what? We're on the brink of the fiery furnace. And so if we look at this, this looks pretty, pretty, pretty bad, doesn't it? Yes. Looks pretty bad. Three men out of billions of people that said, I'm not bowing, I'm not, I'm not going to bow. Our God will deliver us one way or the other. He will either deliver us out of the fire or he will deliver us out, out of your hands one way or the other, but he will deliver us yes. that we will not bow. Okay. Skip down to verse 24. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, they threw him in. Now, you know the story. They, he said, heat up the fire hotter. He did. They did. The men who threw him in, the fire was so hot that the men who threw uh, the three uh, Hebrew children in, they fell dead from the heat. So here, he, they throw him into the fire. Verse 24, then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished, which means he was dazed. He was in dismay. And he rose up in a haste and spake and said unto his counselors, oh, hold up. Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, true, O king. And when he said bound, um, if, you, if you research that, you'll find out that their clothing hats, their, everything they had, they wrapped around them. And if you think about that, to go into a fire, uh, that cloth will set fire quicker. Yeah. 
And uh, they had uh, bound them with ropes and tied them up. And so uh, what they had around their bodies should have burned them quickly. But let's look. He said, weren't they bound and threw them in? Verse 25, he answered and said, lo, I see four men loose. Do you notice he didn't say, I see one man loose and three men bound. I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you servants of the Most High God. See, it came from his overwhelming anger against them because they would not bow that he set that fire hotter. But now in respect, he is saying, he's calling them by name and telling them publicly that they are servants of the Most High God. But And I'm telling you today that God not only is able to deliver you out of your fiery furnace, but he is delivering you out of your fiery furnace. Amen. 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 He said of the most high God, come forth and come hither. You know what? They were, I think they would still be walking around in that fire waiting on the king to call them out. Showing out. God will show up and show out. Amen. And come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, captains, and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whose body. Now, this is what I want you to see. They saw these men whose bodies the fire had no power. Say that out loud. The fire had no power. Nor was a hair of their head singed, neither were their coats Changed. They didn't come out naked. They had their same clothes, not sins, not burn, not nothing. Yet the ropes that had them held burn off. But not even, they didn't even come out with the smell of smoke. Were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Amen. Same, God. same God. Say that out loud. We serve the same God. Same God. Now, what I want you to see is that this took place before Jesus Christ made his debut and the Holy Ghost was poured out upon us. Do you remember what Jesus said? I'm just doing what I saw my father do. I'm just saying what I heard my father say. Remember Jesus saying that? Then Jesus was carrying out what the divine order and will of our heavenly father had to begin with. And now we, and you know, I like saying this, that we are Jesus' brothers and sisters. We are joint heirs with the king. We are not joint heirs with the, the servants that's cleaning out the outhouse. We are joint heirs with the king of all kings and, and we stand shoulder to shoulder with him. And when he presents us, he is presenting us to our heavenly father that we stand by him. And, and when God looks at us, he sees his sons and daughters. And you say, yeah, but I've not been holy and I've not been this or I've not been that. Well, I can tell you this, that I had gave birth to three daughters and always had somebody else's kids in the midst of our kids. But the ones who got most of my attention was the rowdy ones. <laughs> no name, no blame. No name, no blame. Say this out loud. I could be a rowdy one. Uh-huh. And if you're a rowdy one, guess what? You're going to get a lot more attention from God than the good ones. Remember what Jesus said? He said, I didn't come, I didn't come here to save the, the, you know, I didn't come here to save the ones that's not lost. I come for the lost ones. Do you remember him saying that? Well, there's a reason. Because sometimes we rowdy ones, we got to have a little more attention to get us back in line or get us doing what we need to do or, or to, uh, what I say, remind us, remind us. Amen? Amen. All right. <clears throat> okay, so he has power over the fire. Is that right? Did we just read that? 
that the fire could, had no power when it came to, to God. Okay? Let's look at Matthew chapter 14. Matthew 14. Matthew 14, verse 22. And straightway, Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. He wasn't in any hurry, was he? He went and spent time with God, sent those men on a ship. Did they obey him? Was that, yes, they were obedient to, to Jesus when he said, go get in the ship and go the other side. They were doing exactly what Jesus said for them to do. He went up in the mountain, spent some time praying. It said, apart to pray. And when the evening was come, so it'd been a while, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, because they'd been sailing for a while, was in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And if you've ever been out in a ship in the middle of the ocean, you'll understand this scripture. That when that wind blows out there, it brings the waves up over the ship. And you got to understand what these men that followed Jesus, that did what he told them to do, sent them into trouble. It sent them into a storm. They were, they were just doing what they were told to do. Amen. 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 It says, but the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. Yes. He was not moved by the wind and the water. Why? Because it was subject to him. The fire was subject to him in the furnace. It had, it lost its power. It lost its power. Amen. When, when the disciples who was following Jesus and doing exactly what they were, they were being obedient to him that sent them into the storm. Yes. But yet, Jesus walked on the storm. Yes. He walked on that water. He was there. And when they saw him, they got afraid because they didn't know they didn't know this God. See, these disciples had not been in the fiery furnace with him, but yet he'd already been there. He already knew the elements was subject to him. He already knew the power that he had, but the disciples had not seen it yet. Oh, but let me tell you, I love what the Lord said to us this morning uh, through uh, Brother Brian's obedience. We've not seen nothing yet. You think about that, that when we follow him, that we quickly are going to go when he says go and do what he says do. That even though it sends us into a storm, that Jesus will come walking on the water, Hallelujah. commanding the storm to cease. Hallelujah. Verse 27 said, but straightway Jesus spake unto them saying, be of good cheer. <laughs> It is I, be not afraid. Amen. So now then, we're seeing that, that, that our, our master, our Lord, our Savior has authority over the, over the fire that it cannot burn and over the wind and the storms and the water. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Go to Matthew chapter 8. Matthew 8 verse 23. And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, you know, uh, Jesus had, uh, and I love how Jesus would uh, teach. 
and preach. And if you just go read the red and see what Jesus had to say, you'll find out that he is the almighty, all-knowing God. Amen? Amen? And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, why are you fearful? Oh, ye of little faith. Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. So now he's telling us again a second time. And, you know, we sing a song here, again I say rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. And so Jesus is again saying, don't worry. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm with you. I love what Sister Jesslyn said this morning. The moment that she really got truly birthed into the kingdom, she knew beyond a shadow of a doubt she would never again be alone. And he is saying to us today that you're not alone. That, that I am the one who walks the water. I'm the one who speaks to the storm. And can I say this to you? You know, they call to our tornadoes and things. They call that acts of God. But I can promise you that's not acts of God. That's acts of nature. Because Jesus would never, not one time ever speak against his father. And if God had sent the winds and the storms out on that ocean, Jesus would have had to just let it happen. But he rebuked it. And Jesus won't rebuke anything God's got, to, got in this earth and realm. Amen? Amen? And so the next time somebody says, oh, that's an act of God, you need to, you need to say, uh, no, that's an act of nature. Amen? Amen, amen. 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 Verse 27, it said, but the men marvel, saying, what manner of man is this that even the winds and the sea obey him. And see, we get caught up in our little stuff. We get caught up in our little problems and our little things that's in our life. And we get our eyes off of the master of the sea. We, we start seeing him that he's little like in our little problems. We do it. We all do it. We've all been there and done that and bought that t-shirt. But what he's saying to us today is that I walk water. I, I'm in control of fire. I'm, I'm your Lord. I'm with you forever. I'll never leave you alone. I'm with you. Period. I'm with you. And if, if you following me takes you into a storm, guess what? I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. That's what he's saying to us today. But we've just got to get settled in, settled down, and know that we are in an exciting time, not a depressing time. We're in an exciting time. Amen? Amen. So the water and the wind are subject to Jesus. Now turn to Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. <clears throat> verse uh, 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And so now he's not, even, he's not just in authority and dominion over the things of nature. But he is a savior. Amen. He is the one who can wipe your sins away. And that if you call upon him, he will come to you as he came in the storms and as he came in the fire. He will come to you, cleanse you, save you. And you know, when, when, uh, when the Lord comes into your heart and becomes the master of your soul, your being, your spirit, something changes. That was something I, cha I, I shared with my, one of my neighbors that when Jesus Christ comes into your life, something happens. Something changes. You're no longer your own. You're no longer your own. So now he's a savior. So he has power to save. He has power to save. Verse 24. When God hath raised up 
having loosed the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. And so now he has authority over death, hell, and the grave. That even that, that area has no power. Say it has no power. It has no power when it comes to Jesus, see. No power. So Jesus has power over death. So he now has power to save, power over death, power over the, the, the magnitude of the wind and the storms and the, and the fire, everything that we might face in this earth. But our Jesus, Jesus, the name of Jesus, holds the power in heaven and earth, above the earth, beneath the earth, that every other name has to bow to this name because he holds all power. Even death could not hold him. Death couldn't hold him. Verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, they began to say, well, what can we do now? What can we do? Peter, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive. Now here we've got something else going on. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And so not only this awesome Jesus, who is all knowing, all power, all everything, he said, I've got to leave you, but I won't leave you comfortless. Amen. I'm leaving you, but I'm going straight back to the Father because I am now in the, I'm the right hand of God. I'm the authority of God. And he said, I'm going to pray the Father that he will send you the comforter. Yes. And now, all we do, you say, yeah, but I don't understand about it. You don't have to understand. I know this. When I go to, to take a good piece of, of, of cake with frosting and lots of stuff on it, because y'all know I love sweets, I don't have to understand how it got baked. I just know it's good. And I just want what's good. And that's how it is with this awesome God. So we've got a God who holds all power. Say all power. All power. Not just a little bit sometime every now and then of your situation. But he holds all power in heaven, earth, above the earth, beneath the earth. The name of Jesus stands above every other name. Above every other name. And all other names has to bow to Jesus. We've got a thief roaming the earth. He's roaming the earth and he is, his name, and he has many names. One of them is Satan, Lucifer, spirit of darkness. He's roaming, but he is so minute. He is so minute. He is not one for you to hold conversation with because he doesn't deserve to even be able to speak to one of God's kids. Do you hear me today? Who are we today? Is he ready, willing, and able in your life? Is he, re is he ready? Is he ready? Is he willing? And is he able? Yes. Yes. Then today, the very things that brings you sadness begin to praise and rejoice yes. that God is in the midst of that storm. Yes. And he's come to deliver you and to bring you out. Yes. Stand to your feet. Did we get it? Yes. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, Jude is one little book. And there's one verse in Jude that I'm going to read you. It says, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Are, are, we, are, we, uh, are we to rejoice? Yes. Are we to be, be appraising and worshiping him in the storms? Yes. 
when the storms are rising and raging, what is, you know, what, what is your storm today? Are you trying to stay alive? Are, are you trying to stay above and, and, and get, get uh, settled and, and steadfast and unmovable? Yes. But listen, don't lose sight of your promised land. Don't lose sight of your promised land. We've already crossed over. Now we're in possession. Okay, if you'll go right back there, I bet Uncle Philip will help you. Did y'all hear that? Hey, we're we're a down home church right here. Amen. 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 Love our babies. I'm gonna praise you. Come help us sing, brother. Come help us sing, brother Brian. Let's get him a mic. In the storm, well, I'm gonna praise you. I'm gonna praise you. I'm gonna praise.
have a request, Shell? All right. That was awesome. Did y'all hear that? That was awesome. Yes. Yeah, we do. He does. He's God dandy. And I can tell you, that little guy's had many oppositions since he's been born. God just got a lot of things for him. Amen. All right. Are you ready for your blessing? Yes. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed in the city and the field. I'm blessed, I'm blessed coming in and going out. I'm blessed coming in and going out. And everything I put my hands to, God causes it to prosper. Our children and grandchildren. <laughs> Their hearts and, and great grandchildren and great great greats to come. Amen. Their hearts and minds are open to receive knowledge and wisdom. And speak it forth. I am a light. I cannot be hid. I am salt of the earth. That causes mankind to thirst for God. I'm full. Filled up. And running over. With health. Wholeness. Completeness. Nothing missing. And nothing broken. And we give all honor and praise to God in Jesus' name. And we give all honor and praise to God. Amen.